<laughs> morning. I mean, afternoon. Look, I still feel like it's morning. How you guys? Come on in. Mm. Oh, everybody doing all right? Don't let me drop this coffee, Jesus. Amen. Come on into the room. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, Evangelist Cindy. Hi. How you doing, family? Why don't you do the commercial about the oils and stuff? Give a little testimony. Why don't you? How about it? You know, while I invite some folk. <laughs> Oh, you are so awesome. <laughs> Hi, Nadia. Hi, E. Michelle. Hello. How you guys doing? Hey. <laughs> Woo. Oh, y'all sorry. Y'all know. See, they, you know, every night the apostle be called the uh, prophet with the Tourette's. I don't know what I'm called. I, 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 you know. Man, I'm just so like, whoo. So awesome. It's so awesome. Good afternoon, everybody. You are live on Lunch and the Word. Uh, we do not own the rights of this music that you're hearing in the background. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take it down a notch or two. Hi, hon. What you got to say to the people today? Mm -hmm. uh, you're being good, absolutely. Yeah, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, hey, hey, family, how y'all doing? Amen. Uh, we missed y'all last week. Amen. Glory to God. We missed you last week, Wednesday. You know, I was in the room going, oh my God, don't let you do it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, but you know, we missed y'all from last week. So we, but we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. We're here today. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So there's, there's much to do and much to be excited for in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, uh, listen, let the people know. Tweet somebody, text somebody that we are live on Lunch and the Word. Amen. Real talk, real people. Hello. The apostolic and prophetic flow. Glory to God. Amen. Where there is no compromising of the word. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're going to say uh, just what God says. We're going to do just what God do says do. Amen. We are in a new year, y'all. And I think this is the 31st. Is this the 31st? Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This month is, uh, this is the last day of the month. Have, what have you done? <laughs> what, what have you done already thus far? Glory to God. Come on. Hallelujah. You know, it don't take all day to do some stuff. But I know there's some stuff left over in 217 that we need to get done in 218. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Jesus. So, I, I, I am... Hi, Sharona and Mary. Good afternoon. We love you. Hallelujah. I mean, we just, it's just so awesome. So, guys, uh, we got some stuff we want to talk about because, you know, we we, uh, we be on overload. Amen. And uh, <laughs> Listen, you know, as you all know, I'm the presider at church services, our church service, the tabernacle. A place of worship, and I am the presider, elect lady, overseer. I was praise of worship, but uh, Apostle Byron, he's got that taken care of. Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. But I'm just, you know, I'm just excited. Amen. I'm so excited. Emira says, Stop. <laughs> I'm just excited, y'all. You know, women, listen, let me let me just shout out to y'all. Hey, Mario, we, we missed you. We glad you're back. Amen. Uh, oh, thank you, honey. He said he mentioned us on last night. Praise God. Thank you so much, man of God. We appreciate you. We really do. We appreciate each and every. Ooh, y'all, I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all feel the Holy Ghost? Y'all feel the Holy Ghost already? Man, it don't take much for him. Hallelujah, especially when he want to do something right. Oh, my God. We're just excited. 218. Legacy worthy. If y'all are in the Atlanta, in the Georgia area, y'all need to come and have some service with us. 
amen, on Sundays at 11 a.m. We have some, we are a home church campus, amen. We doing it the, like the apostles of old did it, amen. We, we doing it, we doing it, we doing it. We won't stop doing it every time God uh, has us to do stuff. It's going to be like the apostles of old. We talk about signs, wonders, and miracles, amen. And they had church in houses. They didn't have church in the building. Amen. That was the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Glory to God. And I hope this is not freezing up. Start acting out. Hallelujah. The video. If so, if this thing starts acting up, y'all know y'all can call in. Y'all can dial in. Amen. On the conference line. 712-775-7031. And the access code is 607-922. 607922. And we also know that some people have um, Metro PCS and um, what's the other phone? Uh, some other phone uh, uh, carriers. We got a number. I just, T yeah, T Mobile. They try to charge you per minute. But if, whenever you are coming in and you want to dial in, let us know. And we got another number for you that you won't be charged. Amen. The conference line people, they be on top of that. And it's a shame that other folks are trying to charge, you know. But, you know, everybody don't serve God like us. Am I right? <laughs> so I want to send some shout -outs. Let me put some glasses on and read some stuff. Y'all talk to us. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sheila. Hi, family. Hi, Pastor. How you doing? Oh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Wait, I'm sorry. I just don't understand Hallelujah. Hi, Z.I. Smith. How you doing? God bless you. I'm trying to greet some people before we go forward. Hi, Takesha Phillips. Good guy. Haven't seen you, Lenora Lynn. I didn't watch your video yet. I, I was trying to catch you, but I'm going to watch your video when we get finished sometime this afternoon. Awesome. And our girl, Evangelist J. Mm -hmm. She's on. Hi, honey. We miss mm -hmm. you. I got a sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> bless you, bless you, bless you. Mm. The devil, I said like Nicole, <laughs> Nicole Turner, she, Tom, she said, she said, the devil is a liar. And then the, uh, um, this other, uh, Latricia, uh, she was, she was saying, I was reading a post on hers on Instagram. She said she got castor oil. She got, she got, <laughs> and she got everything. She said, and she kept saying in her post, the devil is a liar. She got everything to flush away the flu. Hey, Amen. Because <laughs> this flu stuff ain't no joke. Man, y'all, y'all suit up with your whole armor. Hey, Amen. For real. Suit up with your whole armor. Excuse me. Hey, Amen. So, because this, this hit virus. And y'all, I heard that uh, they actually, a lot of people take the flu shot, but a lot of the first batches of those flu shots were bad. So it sent out some stuff. I ain't speaking against the health community because they on point. But sometimes, man, you know, the enemy can hit us through that too. Amen. I want to thank everybody for praying. Glory to God. Uh, I went, we have a family page, ministry page, and um, I went on there the other day. Sometimes I act crazy, y'all. When the warrior steps in, and uh, I had heard some information about a young man that I used to work with. You know, it's talking about cancer. I hate cancer. I hate cancer. Cancer is a demonic, demonic demon, a demon, amen, and it can be cast out in Jesus' name. And they were saying that he had cancer. And so sometimes I get a whooping every now and then. Normally, I don't move unless God say so, but I was so, when I hear that name, cancer, I don't donate to cancer. Don't ask us. I cast it out. In Jesus' name. That's what we do. Amen. And so I went in and did warfare on his behalf. I We haven't heard any news yet, but they were calling in the family. Amen. But uh, I thank my family for standing in the gap. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So so we want to thank you all. We hear from some people that we hadn't heard from in a minute. Is everybody doing good? I want to do my little commercial. I have to go on the website and fix fix the site. You know, I don't know if y'all know, but mo uh, website making creating is is a difficult job. That's why they charge some people so much money. But uh, I'm I'm Holy Ghost talk, so I'm I'm getting there. Amen. When it comes to graphic designs and stuff, and I'm I'm God is working on me. But uh, 
if you go on the desktop, you can see our website, Deliverance Crew Ministries. Really good. It's it's awesome. And you'll see the pages. But I understand that you have to have a mobile site set up too. So for you mobile phone users, so it can look like you got some sense. So I know Deliverance Crew page probably looking a little crazy when they go tapping in on it from your phones. So I'm going to work on that today. That's my assignment to get fixed today. Amen. I worked on my page, my normal ministry page, uh, Apostle D.D. Taylor Ministries 360. But um, I need to work on Deliverance Crew's page and um, uh, get the mobile site up right so it won't look so crazy to you guys. But we have these on sale on Deliverance Crew's. And one side says, no dummy down. And the other side says, no more excuses. Isn't that color pretty? That's orange, red, purple white, black, and brown. Those are the colors we got thus far. And go on there. These are anointed. These are some phrases that God gave me, y'all. Uh, and um, and I use those phrases daily. Glory to God. And then we have all sizes, different size bottles. And I know we got some testimonies. Glory to God that people have already, that from ordering, and I broke this all out. You got the one ounce size in this, and you got the two ounce size in this here one. And then you got the spray bottle. I'm sorry. You got the pretty blue spray bottle. And you got the roll on. Hallelujah. For you roll on roll roll on people. <laughs> Amen. And and get yours today. Go on the website. Amen. And it says, uh, I'm gonna change everything on there, but order yours today. I literally start birthing out that and the the testimony on there is how that all came about. Amen. I went through a Moses stage of my life and God wanted me to birth that through and I did. And it has traveled all over the world and I actually would only make it for family. Amen. Birth it out for family because it hurts when, when you birth it out. I have to go into prayer. I literally have labor pains birthing it out. Come on, somebody. People really don't believe it. But you know, when you birth in your gifts, you really go through some things. Hello. You know, so so I just want to let you know that we still have that available and we do have a right to sit it where we choose to sit it. Amen. And and so glory to God, there's no issues about that. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. So listen, me being the presider uh, of our church service when I'm here, because I travel a lot. Uh, my husband, my pastor, gave me permission, and, to, and he sent me out. Amen. My apostle sent me out. Amen. Thank you, man of God. And he's laughing. So, and nobody gonna talk to us. I don't see no. See now. Okay. Let me let me check the page. Is some is something going on with the page? Cause I don't see no heart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know. Mm, I don't see no hearts or none of that. We gonna get into the word, but. I want to make sure I got, I don't have tea today. I got coffee. I'm going to be good. <laughs> that didn't even sound good, did it? So, come on, Pops. Talk to them, baby. They waiting on you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Baby. What are you <laughs> so, okay. So, being a presider, what I do is give a nugget, what God gives me. And I release a nugget. Uh, you know, the nugget before church service. In other words, we said, hey, Mary and Prophetess, how you doing? Hey, Christina, how you doing? Blessings to you. Thank you for checking in. Hey, Christine Klein, how you doing? Nadia says she love your brains. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hi, Wisdom. How you doing? I, you have a surgery today. We're praying for you. Amen. Today or soon, but we're praying for you. We have already sent prayers up. Amen. But we don't just stop. We don't stop at one prayer. We continue to keep you guys on our prayer, mm -hmm. on our heart. Because, I mean, that's what we called to do. Amen. I, we love doing it. I love prayer. Mm -hmm. I love prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so as a presider, <laughs> God to give me a nugget to release. Hallelujah. For the people of God. And um, every Sunday I do that, amen. And um, I, I, uh, you know, get it, get, 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 you know, 
give time for the pastor to come on forth with his word. Amen. And what I love so much, he don't know my word that I'm going to release. And we don't know his, you know, those that of us here. He's teaching about Legacy Worthy, a series on it. And it is awesome. If you haven't watched the videos last Sunday, the devil acted a fool. So I was recording, start recording on my phone. Because see, our folks, our church folks, a lot of them are worldwide and they need to get the word. So I start recording. That's why you may see two pages. Because the regular on a place of worship page, they said it start acting up. So one, the second set, I start recording on my phone. So you hear a little shaky, you may hear me, you know, man, I'm just real. I'm wild. I'm loud. Whatever. I'm Apostle Didi. Matter of fact, let's go here. Chief Apostle Didi Taylor. Amen. A servant of the Lord. So I'm going to be real and ain't nothing fake here because we ain't got time for that. When you start doing fake stuff, you got to keep it up. We ain't got time for that. Love. And my, my motto is this. Love me or leave me. That's okay. I know my sound is not for everybody. Glory to God. I, I got that. So the nugget that he gave me for this past Sunday, and he got he gets on me all the time. Why you go give that little bit and don't continue to give it? No, because I'm I'm setting the people up because I know that God got an awesome, super awesome, the rest of the word coming through him. And it always happened like that. So that's why he called us the tag team duo. But I want it today because God would not let us lose about Jacob. You feel like running. I see it all over you. He holding his mouth, y'all. You can, you can. <laughs> but God gave us this word, you know, gave me this nugget about how many are willing to hold on this time until he bless you. Come on, somebody. Y'all, I'm coming out of Genesis 32 if you got your word. Amen. And again, we start. I started this word. Whew, God, I feel like running. I started this word on Sunday as the presider of the tabernacle, a place of worship. Amen. But again, y'all need to get this. In the, ooh, shade, both sides. And on, on Facebook, last night, the last thing that I came on there and posted Hallelujah was, um, let me read it to you, that some need to go back and finish their work. That was the last thing that I posted on Facebook, right? That some need to go back and finish their work. Hallelujah. But now, uh, so God releases revelation knowledge to those that seek forth the mystery. Amen. Everybody don't get revelation because so many people are carnal minded instead of taking on the mind of Christ. And so you're not getting revelation of the word or what the word, the mystery that's encapped in that word that will deliver you, that will set you free. And that's Jesus. He teaches about that. Amen. And a lot of people leave Jesus out because they want you to stay carnal minded. But you won't get that here. We can't go for it without Jesus being the sinner. He's the chief cornerstone. He's the one. He's the builder of the foundation along with the apostles and prophets. Amen. Glory to God. And so uh, he's the rock. And he, we just won't do without him. Amen. So, so look. So much came out of that word. And y'all know the story. Uh, Esau, uh, Jacob, the father, Isaac was dying. And his wife. She loved Jacob. You know, people, some of you got your favorites. Yeah, it's something about that a little bit. We talk about that some other time. But Esau was the oldest. And they know, you know, back in biblical days, uh, Esau being the oldest would get the next inheritance. But how many know that it, 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 it don't leave the other one out? That's just like Isaac and, and um, 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 what was the first one he made? Mary and uh, Sarah. Sarah and the handmaiden. Uh, uh, Isaac is, I'm sorry. Ishmael and Isaac. Ishmael and Isaac. That don't mean that Ishmael did not get any of the inheritance because he did. And this is the same here with uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. And Esau was the firstborn. But wait a minute. I remember reading that when they were coming out, come on somebody, one was holding on to the other one's heel. Mm -hmm. So this stuff started in the womb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna catch that in about five seconds. So here we go. 
excuse me, Esau and Jacob. So the mother taught Jacob how to be a trickster. And that's what the uh, name Jacob means, trickster, slicer, whatever you want to call it. And so where we're starting at is Jacob had to run because Esau found out, hallelujah, what Jacob did. And so here we go. Hey, Prophet Chera, how you doing? God bless you. Here we go. I think I'm going to sit this in front so I can see a little better. Thank you. Here we go in the story where Jacob finally, after he goes and everything that he had done to Esau of being a thief and stealing, it happened to him. What goes around comes around. How many know about that? How many have heard that? What goes around comes around. Amen. And so Jacob had to run because he stole, he stole Esau's birthright. Amen. Even though I preached one time out of this same text, glory to God, what would you sell your birthright for? Because Esau was hungry one time and he gave up his birthright for a bowl of stew. Come on here. What What will you sell your birthright for? My God. So I've talked about that. Amen. And I know that's going to be another preach word. Glory to God coming up soon. But what, you know. We're here, and he saw, and he gave up his birthright. But then Jacob turned around and put a double dose on it, uh huh, and acted like he was Esau. Y'all know the story, but I just want to give you a synopsis of it, Amen. Just to catch you up with what God has given me and him, Amen. Behind this, so here we go. Uh, uh, Jacob goes through hell because he finally falls in love with somebody, Amen, and he wanted her. So, but he had to pay for it. Ain't, how many know? Ain't nothing free. Nothing free but salvation. That's all that's free. Nothing free but salvation. And many of many people don't even know that. But all you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe it in your heart that Jesus is Lord. And accept him as Lord and Savior. Glory to God. That means that you are saved. You have received the salvation of the Lord. It's free. But nothing else that you do in life is free. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Y'all talk to us. So, so here we go. He goes and he just stole. He just stole from his brother. Amen. But he learned how to steal through his parents. Amen. We talk about lineage. Amen. And so here we go. He learns and then he that, that thing follows him. That spirit follows him. Ooh. Oh, that's good right there. Don't you know when you open up a box, it's like everybody heard about the Pandora box. When you open up the Pandora box, everything comes out of it that is not of God. That's the same thing that happened with Jacob. Everything came out of it because he opened up a door, hallelujah, of lying and cheating and stealing. Ah, y'all about shot and did it. Hey, oh God, but God, God is a fixer of the breach. He's a repairer of the breach. That's what I meant to say. And so then here we go. He, he Jacob goes in the layman. He had to run. And he went to a, uh, his mother's relatives. Now, wait a minute. This just hit me. His mama already knew how to be a thief. So she sends him so he can learn even further how to be a thief <laughs> with her family. Yeah, that generation thing. So Laban didn't use them and abuse them, amen, to work for him. And he had to, why? Because he fell in love and he wanted something that uh, he had to pay for. So here we are. Here we are at a place, my God, that we didn't ever think that, you know, you would get to. A place of that you may have to go back and finish your work. <laughs> A place, ah, sha da da ba sha, that God, hallelujah, will come and see about you. So, you know, you, you want to know. Whew, this title right here, and we've said it and I've said it. How many are willing to hold on this time until he blesses you? 
We are in this place. Hey, Prophetess Michelle. God bless you. Love you. Hallelujah. We are in a place this time. We have done some things through this walk. <laughs> we have been some places in this walk. We have been disobedient. Sometimes there has been some hiccups along the way. But God sent us to ask you, uh, Shabbat Shalom. How many are willing to hold on mm, 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 until he bless you? Mm. How many are willing to give up and forsake all others? Woo, Jesus, until he bless you. How many are willing to accept their name change? Oh, my God, until he bless you. How many are willing to walk that crooked road until he make it straight? How many are willing to give up ah, your, both shot, your flesh, the authority that your flesh have over you, and take the kingdom authority that God has given you? Then Jesus laid upon that cross and, ro and died and rose again. How many are willing? Ooh. Ooh. And I was talking to a daughter in Mary the other day, or yesterday, and I believe the word was like, you know, patience. Patience, fiery, fiery trials, work of patience, make a patience. How many are willing to let patience do his work? How many are willing? How many are willing to allow wisdom? That's her name. Come on. You ready? You better come on. Come on. And things gonna change. We're gonna start having some guests, you know. But. <laughs> you know, um, you know, you mentioned once uh, Jacob wanted something that he had to work for. Mm -hmm. Amen. When we when we look at the whole thing with Jacob, we look at how he came in, he left where he was, and he he ran, he ran to his uncle, uh, he ran to what was supposed to be a safe place, which is family, and that was supposed to be his uncle, which was supposed to be a, a safe place. Amen. Glory to God. He go he goes to what's supposed to be a safe place, only to find the same things that he endured at home. Was the same thing he found. Okay, uh, that's that's okay. All right. Uh, 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 so so, <laughs> God, no. I'm trying to be good. So so now we get to that place when when he he's so he's in a supposedly safe place or a place of of, of mutual respect and love and family. Glory mm. to God. And you find that what you were running from is the very same thing you ran into. They say out of the fire, out of the frying pan and straight into the fire. Amen. Glory to mm. God. Hallelujah. So you wanted something that he had to work for. Now he now 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 Laban told him if you want uh Rachel, you gotta work seven years. He worked seven years, glory to God, and got Leah and got mad. Now this is the position that most of us are in. Ooh. Now let me explain why I'm saying that to you. Because most of us, you done labored with somebody who did you wrong. See, I'm, I'm gonna look down and play with this for a minute. Ouch! Most of my name to just mo type out. Most of us done. Most of us, glory to God, we done went to ministry with people who did us wrong. Most of us, when we was running from our natural family, ran into spiritual family that was doing the same thing that our natural family was doing to us. Okay, okay, okay. Most, most of us, glory to God, we, we, we were running from those who were trying to take our money and those who were trying to steal from us, but we ran into spiritual folks who are supposedly spiritual folks who were doing the same thing. And then we say, then what we do is they say, okay, okay, well, you want to, they, 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 they make it sound good because we're going to get what we want because if we work for it, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. They didn't tell you have faith and work. They just told you, you got to work for this thing. Come on, hallelujah. So now you get to a point, glory to God, where what you've been working for and what you've been going through, it comes to a head, glory to God, and you get mad with Uncle Laban because Uncle Laban promised you something, mm -hmm. come on, the spiritual folk, or supposedly spiritual folk, they promise you if you, sp you stay with us, you're going to get increase, you're going to get this, you're going to get that, oh come on, sow into the ministry, God going to bless you, glory to God, and you sowed and you did everything that you said you, would, you knew that you were supposed to do, glory to God, but the return was not what you thought it was. 
As a matter of fact, you saw no return. As a matter of fact, you saw their increase and you saw no increase within yourself. And you try to figure out, well, what's going on? Why am I so, why am I doing all of this if I'm not getting the increase that I should have gotten? See, see, Leah represented what he didn't want. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, as, as, but understand something. Leah, rep also, marriage also represents ministry. Glory to God. So there was, he, he was in a ministry, he got a ministry that he did not want. Come on, somebody. Anybody? been in that position where you've gone to a place and gone up under some folk, glory to God, and the ministry you thought you should have had is not the ministry you received. Come on, somebody, glory mm. to God. You done fasted with them. You done you done you done to toil with them. Mm. You done sold into them. God. You done took them out to dinner. You done gave uh, 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 whatever you needed to give. You done give your time. Mm. You done gave of your kids. You done gave of your family. Glory to God, mm. and you gave it to them. Glory to God, but you did not receive in return the ministry that you thought you were supposed to receive. Mm. So now the question came up, glory to God, how many are willing, glory to God, to hold on until he blesses you? But can I add to that again? Glory to God, Amen. because the only way that he was going to get Rachel, which is the one he desires, is if he served another seven years. See, some of y'all think that you're going to just go come and get Rachel just because you said you wanted Rachel. You got to come and serve in order to get... Oh. That's that thief mentality. You got, to, you got to serve in order to get Rachel. Rachel was not just going to come to you just because you they messed up the first time. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Just because the person who was doing who was doing what they needed to do mm -hmm. is not just going to come to you because they messed up. Let me tell you something. Their messing up has nothing to do with you. You chose to go there. You had no choice. You were sent there for whatever reason. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Now that you're in the place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now that you're in the place. Okay. Okay. You, you received the bad ministry. You wasn't happy there. You went through all the emotions. You were, you were you was frustrated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You was mad at them for what they did. You was angry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. and, and you deserve to be angry to a certain degree. Glory to God. Then you got tired of, of, of being there. Glory to God. You, 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 man, you, you, you went wherever they went. Whenever they ministered, you went with them. Wherever they went, you went with them. Glory to God. Whatever they did, you did it with them. Glory to God. Then you got upset and you said, I'm not going to trust no more church folk. I'm not going to trust no more church leaders. I'm not going to trust another apostle. I'm not going don't trust another prophet. I'm not going to trust don't no fuck. I ain't going to trust nobody no more. You done went through all the emotions in the spectrum. Ooh. After the first one. Come on, come on, Jacob. Glory to God. You, done, you, you, you woke up the next day and you realize that the person that was in bed with you or the person that you're entangled with or the person that you're connected to is not what you thought she was. It's not who you thought you should have received. Glory to God. So now you're in a place where you're saying, I'm mad at this because it did not turn out the way I expected it to. Glory mm -hmm. to God. So now what we do is we shut down. Glory to God. We shut down and say, well, I'm not doing this no more, not for another person. But the question is, how many are willing to hold on till he blesses you again? And let me tell you something. Uh, come on. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. And let me tell you something. Hold on. Holding on requires you, glory to God, mm -hmm. to do the same things you did back then, glory to God, but even to a greater scale. Why is it a greater scale? Because you're frustrated, you're tired, your body's telling you no, but your spirit is saying you don't have a choice, glory to God. <laughs> so while you holding back, amen. Ooh. Man, glory to God, what you're supposed to be giving out, glory to God, you're trying to figure out which way to go, what to do, and let me tell you, it's not going to happen any other way, the same way he served for Ray, for Leah, is the same way he got to serve for Rachel, but let me tell you, it's frustrating serving again, another seven years again, glory to God, for the thing that you think that you know that you want, come on somebody, glory to God, the question is, will you serve again, will you be open again, will you be free, it's like saying, and you know what? I've been in relationships. You know what? So many folks, they've been in relationships, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and you get into a relationship, and then what happens in the relationship, you get so heartbroken and so downtrodden that what happens is when the next person comes, you treat them crazy because of the first person. And that's what happens. Glory to God. The second person didn't do you anything. Glory to God. They didn't even have a chance to get in the door. And you telling them off before you even got in the door. You got all these shields and all this stuff. I'm not saying don't have discernment, but you got all this stuff of what you not going to do. Right, 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 right. What you not going to do as soon before they even get there. So now this person 
person who's coming in and trying to love you and trying to learn you, they don't get to know the real you. Why? Because you're blocking that person from being who they need to be. It's the same thing with ministry. Glory to God. Here you go. You had leaders that, that did things to you and messed you up and hurt you. Glory to God. And now you come and you up under some true leaders that really love you and trying to bless with you, but they won't get your all because of what the last leader did. Mm. Mm. Ouch. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not going to work that way. Because the same way Laban had to work for Leah is the same way Laban had to work for Rachel. Jacob. Glory to the, Jacob. Jo sorry. Yeah, thank you. The same way Jacob had to work for Rachel. Because I'm telling you right now, the only difference is Jacob must have been must have been serving and frustrated. Come on, somebody. Come on, like, he must, he must have been serving and angry. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. He must have been serving and didn't like what he was seeing. He must have been serving. Glory to God. And was grumbling. Come on, somebody. He was. Uh, the Bible doesn't tell us this. But come on, let's, let's let's think about this for a second. Glory to God. He might have been serving Laban, glory to God, that extra seven years, and he might have been frustrated in his serving. But I like what the Bible declares that even in his serving, that God gave him strategy in the midst of his serving to bless him. Come on, somebody. Oh my God. See, 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 too many of y'all stay in a place of frustration, glory to God, mm -hmm. that we're not listening to what God is saying to try to help us deal with what's going on in our, in our midst. Glory to God. He called us. Mm -hmm to serve glory to God so we can get the ministry that we're looking for glory to yes. God okay come on go ahead honey. I mean that is so powerful while you're talking and 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 ministry is all about servanthood mm -hmm. and that's where we're missing it at we're so busy holding on to what so-and-so did to us not only church folk but anything in our life what people did to us what our mama did to us what our grandmama did to us what our ex-man did to us what our ex-woman did to us what what our children didn't do. You know, we're too busy holding on to that stuff. Glory to God. And God is trying to get us uh, to understand and to learn some things in the process as Christians, as we call ourselves, as the saints of the most hard God. We're supposed to be learning things, but instead what we are allowing the enemy to do is harden our heart. Let me tell you something. Purpose. People, I, I remember some years back, People, too many people say it anymore, but some years back, that's all people kept saying. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my purpose is. Your purpose is to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, right? We have released that. Your purpose is to become a servant of the Most High God. Your purpose is to walk it out. Amen. Your process, walk it out because you're already born with a destiny, but your purpose is to walk the process out so your destiny can be activated. Come on, somebody. So, so, so when Jacob, hallelujah, when Jacob, he went and he was sent to a place, hallelujah, he was called trickster. So he went to a place with a trickster mentality and hooked up with some other tricksters. <laughs> Instead of taking that what he did because he was sorrowful. Mm -hmm. See, he forgot all about that, that he was sorrowful, tricking to get Esau because he told his mother, he will know who I am. I don't want to do this. But instead, he continued to do it anyways. And, but he had a heart, a sorrowful heart. And he allowed the tricks, the spirit, the hurt, the pain, whatever he thought he was going through. Amen. It connected with the other tricksters. What am I saying? Those spirits will follow you, hallelujah, until you open up your heart. Won't that go right? Mm -hmm. Amen. You will continue, and we talked about this some other time. How did these spirits follow you? Because you have not stopped that other spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you were at the church, you were angry. When you know you was upset, you couldn't get your way. But then when you go to another church, you can't receive. You can't receive because those same spirits that you had there are still in you. How do you get rid of them? Through deliverance. Hallelujah. That's how you get rid of them. Amen. But let's go back to Jacob. Jacob, hallelujah, he had to do a work. And the title today, how many are willing to hold on this time until he blesses you? This time, come on, somebody. Hey, Nicole, God bless you, woman of God, hey, family. I mean, how many are willing to hold on 
until he bless you. Won't shake out. Mm. This time, no matter what you had to go through, you said this thing so profound. Just because you learned how to serve for seven years, that don't stop you from being a servant, baby. Can I help somebody with this? <laughs> Why God called me chief apostle, and I know y'all didn't heard, heard uh, that ain't no such thing. Yes, it is. A chief apostle. This is what God gave me. I don't know if I should share that. Okay, I'm, I, 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 I'm, mm, I'll hold that back. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. people will run with it and start tricking folks with it. So that's my testimony. I, I give it personal one day. You know, some people know about it. But, but it, it, Jacob had to learn how to serve. That was the thing. He had to learn how to serve. He was already an inheritance. He was already kingdom. Kingdom people need to ooh, shay, double shot. Need to know how to serve. I have heard so many people with this I, I, I spirit. Baby, this thing ain't about you. Whatever, whatever you do won't last unless you're doing it for Christ. That's the only thing that's going to last. Amen. But God, he says, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. While you're seeking, while you're serving, while you're forgiving, mm -hmm. while you're building, ah, shah, while you're giving, I have to say that again, mm -hmm. hallelujah, while you're setting things up for others, eh, while you're helping while you're learning, while you're creating, while you're birthing. Because, see, a lot of those ministries, instead of you getting into that I, I, I and receiving all the mother spirits that's going around there, like anger and, you know, you get with these clicks and they have so many spirits, they don't know how to communicate and all that stuff. Instead of collecting those spirits, why don't you do Jesus? Let him birth you out while you're there in the church. Why you you know why you're connected to the ministry? See, because every minister in every church, every church for and not bad people. Yeah. So what happened was all these spirits that you picked up along the way, you brought them to the next ministry. <laughs> and I'm telling you, this ministry don't accept that. So you know you might have heard some tales. Pastor Didi don't play. No, I'm not gonna play with your spirits, your demons. No, I'm gonna we gonna love on you. And a lot of people don't know how to accept love, y'all. A lot of people don't know how to accept love because they have been abused by these demons for so long. That's all they know. I'm a no-nonsense person, but I will love you till I can't love you no more. I know that the spirit of mother is on me and the spirit of father is on him. And we're not going to accept nothing less than who you are and that's greatness. Amen. So why are you in these places? Ah, your boy. I don't care if you sitting at home 24-7. You should be always increasing in your faith. Come on, somebody. Jacob, hallelujah. He took that, that trickster spirit followed him. So he aligned himself up with one of the biggest tricksters. Ah, your basha. Layman. Ah, your little boy. Why? Because when you start tricking, what involved with a trick? Lust. All kinds of stuff comes with those spirits. One spirit don't be by itself, baby. He have a whole lot of spirits that come with him. So here they go. He's getting all of this and picking up all these other spirits. Amen. And think that he can take it somewhere else. But sooner or later, like you said, God turned that thing around. Gave him a strategic plan. Ooh. Ooh. What is your strategic plan? To learn all you can learn right where you at. To birth forth some gifts that you don't even know that you got inside of you. You may have a desire in you. Whew. Oh God, I'm burning up. You may have a desire. Amen. That you want to do something. I love uh, interior design. And so me decorating a home, it ended up being designing websites. Doing flyers. Come on. Hallelujah. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a broad range in the gifts that God has inside of you. That's what I'm saying. 
It's so much inside of you, and you should be developing these gifts, birthing these gifts instead of allowing these spirits to put you in a place of delay. Mm. And that's what happened to Jacob. Mm. 14 years. He should have been learning what God was teaching him. He should have been getting a forgiving heart. Uh, and he ended up doing that. He ended up forgiving himself because that's where it starts at. Oh, hello, somebody. Forgiveness starts within because you messed up. Mm -hmm. See, everything that somebody do is not their fault because sometimes we allow people to do it to us. Uh-oh. Ouch. Somebody need to write ouch on that one. We allow the, in, the folks to do us some kind of way. Because why? We think we're supposed to be a doormat. That devil is a lie. Why? Because we think we're supposed to give our all in all. That devil is a lie. Who told you that? You don't become nobody's doormat. That doesn't make you humble. That's false humility. When you allow somebody to beat you and treat you the lower than low. No, nah, man. No. So what we should be doing is developing within ourselves. If we're going to have an I, I, I spirit, that I, I, I spirit should be within and birth forth for gifts. Not no selfish spirit. A servant spirit is not selfish. And I know people will see that you are a servant to the Most High God and come and suck on you like a leech. But baby, can I just help you with this? Don't let them leeches harden your heart. Don't let these leeches make your heart hard. And that's what's so profound about Jacob. He almost got hard till he figured this thing out that he had to go back and finish the work that he started. Come on. Come on. Be before you go there, can mm -hmm. I touch on something before you go there? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> at some point, at Ooh, some point. In, some good stuff. In, at some point in, in Jacob's time with Laban, uh, Laban began to look at him and see that the spirit of God was on was on Jacob, so 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 he recognized that the, the he recognized that when 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 Jacob came, all of a sudden his pastures started multiplying. Hallelujah! See, that's the thing we tricking, but don't know we have a natural anointing for increase. Mm. Folk tri <laughs> mm, I feel like money. I mean, I mean, I mean, folks using tactics and all kind of different uh -huh. stuff to get people when don't recognize that you're giving up your natural anointing to do something else. Glory to God, because it don't come in the time frame in which you expect it to. Ooh. But anyway, we go forward in this because Jesus that's good to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. I'm in okay. here, Willie. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. So, so let's. Golly. Woo! That's good. I had to holler. I can. Mm -hmm. And y'all ain't making me hold this stuff in. Woo! That's so, some good stuff. So, <laughs> I'm running my seat today. <laughs> I had to run. I ooh, shot that boat. Ooh, mm, that's some good stuff. So, Ooh. so, 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 so we get to the point where we're dealing with Laban, and Laban sees the anointing on Jacob's life. See what happens is. We, because we're, we've learned, you may have you, you may have learned to trick, but what happens when you when you meet a real trickster? See, that's the problem. Uh, you, you ever heard them say you go bounce up on somebody who's better than you, and they're gonna mm -hmm. teach you a lesson? That's what happened with Laban. He, uh, well, that's what happened with Jacob. He bounced up on somebody who was better than him. Come on, because Mama wasn't there to cover. Come on, somebody. So now he had to do it by himself. Glory to God. So now now Laban saw. What was on Jacob? Glory to God! In spite of what Jacob was trying to do, and he turned around and he said, "Okay, I'm gonna use this for my benefit." So I know we agreed initially for uh, Rachel, but but because of because of our custom, because remember Laban was not uh, was not a Jew. Laban did not believe in God, but he knew everybody ain't like us, huh? Remember, Jacob, uh, 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 um, Jacob's father, <laughs> uh, which was Isaac, uh, I believe Isaac, Isaac married uh, uh, Rachel, but Rachel, but that's Rachel, but that's, um, uh, I'm sorry, J uh, Isaac married his wife, but that was his wife's uncle. It, uh, it was his, his wife's uncle. That wasn't J uh, that wasn't Isaac's uncle. That was his wife, his mother's uncle. So that's somebody on the other side of the family. So you, <laughs> oh God. Oh, so, what a confused state. 
So now you, now you, so you, you done went and attached yourself to people from the other side of the family who may not necessarily believe in God the same way you do, but can tell that there's an anointing on your life. And now you there and you chilling, thinking they just like me and everything, but they real. They tricks us for real. They got it down. They got the game for real. They play us for real. Amen. God, they 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 been in this thing a bit longer than you have. Glory to God. Mm. So now they see who you are. They say, oh, I need to work this right here. Oh man, I need to get. See, they smarter than us. They they the tricksters will watch us. Will learn our walk. Mm -hmm. Learn our talk. They will form up the word. Mm -hmm. See, that's why you had so many false apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, mm -hmm. and evangelists. Mm -hmm. Because they were learning us. What they did was leached on to us and followed us as we went along. Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, even here on Facebook, it's fair. Um, I mean, it's a lot of that going on. They come and, you know, because our page is open. It ain't going to make it private. With, you know, because sooner or later, God will expose who is who. Amen. But what we got to do is use the gift of discernment. Amen. And see who is who. And can I help you with this? God will have you to deal with your enemy so you can learn something. Which, 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 brings, me, which, which brings me to my next point. When we did... When we deal with the fact that Abraham, uh, uh, sorry, that Laban's soul was on Jacob and he decided he was going to play with it. While he was there, Jacob learned how to deal with sheep differently. And Jacob learned how to, how to listen to God and select different sheep Come and on. put this one aside and cause this one to breed and what this with that one and put that over there. He gave him strategy in the midst of it. But let, let me say this though, glory to God. Christ said, I came not to be served, but to serve. Hello, and we talk about that we're following Christ and we're doing what Christ said, glory to God, but then we don't understand that self-defense spirit or the spirit of offense will cause us to get into an eye mode and a protection mode, glory to God, and what you should be open to, you are now closed to, so now you're not even receiving from God because the one that God sent to, to, to bless you, you're ignoring them and you shut down from them and you won't receive the word from the man or the woman of God, glory to God, mm -hmm. and you're not hearing from God for yourself, glory mm -hmm. to God, you're you know you're not. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, God, I can't hear you. God, I can't hear you. God, you're not talking. But he sent someone to bless you and give you a word, but you ignoring them because they call themselves a man or woman of God. Well, I ain't trying to hear from nobody no more. But you're missing your blessing because you, you've caused yourself or you closed yourself up. Glory yeah, to God. And, heart. and now you defended your, you're defending yourself against God and don't even know it. That is so powerful. Okay, Lisa, I'm sorry your phone acting up, baby. I understand. Yeah, we, I, I caught you, Evangelist Lisa. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, that is so amazing because a lot of us do that. My husband, once he, uh, when he came, he, he asked me because he, he walked with me. Amen. And man, listen, for, uh, when Jesus told it, he said, everybody that say, Lord, Lord, they're not working for him. They're workers of iniquity. They are sinners. They're evil and they dirty. And but see, we will have to be partakers of them too. We can't be close minded. So God, I have you to accept. You know the woman is dirty. You know the man is dirty. And he'll, he'll have you to accept them in your life so they can see the Jesus in you. And so that you can learn what not to do. Come on, somebody. But what has happened is the enemy, that trickster spirit, has tricked us into allowing uh, uh, our heart to be hardened just because they mess with us. What are you really getting up out of that? There's no way that Jacob could be mad at Esau. Come on. Hallelujah. And there's no way, come on, Esau should be mad at Jacob. Why? Because he sold, he sold his birthright. Y'all remember? He sold his birthright for a bowl of stew. So he turned around and hardened his heart on something that he did. Hallelujah, Jesus. So here go Jacob. Jacob, he gets his birthright, but then he don't get it because he has to run for his life. And in the midst of that running, he encounters something that he already knew. But getting to learn things, amen, as he is getting equipped. Learn. 
as you're, you're being equipped through all your trials and tribulations. You're being equipped. Stop letting it take you to a low place. Stop letting depression build up because it's easy. Stop letting things, and when God is trying to bless you, my God, the enemy will turn and knock that stuff up. Baby, get out of that, that experience what you're supposed to get experienced from. Amen. Too many of us are allowing the enemy to turn something bad into what's really good for us. If you have been called to ministry, let me use that. You need to know the do's and the don'ts. It is not that simple. And a lot of us, a lot of people are out here don't have a covering. They don't have people that's teaching them. So therefore, God, God, the main cover. Mm, come on, somebody. The covering, the true covering. Hallelujah. Your true father is the one teaching you. So you're learning these things through ministry. You're learning these things out here in the world. Why get angry about it? Why get upset about it? Take it in. Birth, get, talk to the Father over every situation. Amen. And learn from it. That's how you learn. When people, I was thinking about this, uh, I guess God was talking to me last night. And you know, how did you learn? I learned through you, Abba Father. I learned through you. Because I'm going to tell you something. I found coming up, church folks are selfish people. They're selfish and they don't, a lot of people wasn't doing, when I was coming, they ain't want to help you. Baby, I don't have a bad bone in my body, but I didn't understand because coming from the street, we're thinking that everybody's holy, holy, everybody's sharing and loving, and we're thinking that everybody is living what they're preaching, but they're not. All right, yeah, I know nobody want to hear that, but it's the truth. I've been raised to tell the unadulterated truth. Black ball, black lips, purple, pink. I don't care. But that's enough of people being, allowing folks to see, allowing you're going through the truth, through the process, and you're allowing it to hurt you. No. See people for who they really are. Hallelujah. Gee, you ain't always been saved. You wasn't born, say, can we be real? And that's what I'm talking about, Esau and Jacob. Esau sold his birthright for a bowl. What did you give up? You don't want to tell me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Woo, because you gave up some stuff to get to what you thought you was going to have. A lot of you get angry because you're not where you're supposed to be. Stop blaming people. Stop, stop blaming folks. And I'm telling you, this stuff starts within. Ouch. You got to do what God has called you to do. We're too busy looking at people, hallelujah, instead of going forth. And this is what's so powerful about Esau and Jacob. Jacob, even though he ended up in a place of trickster and being tricked and deceived, Esau kept going forward and he ended up with the inheritance after all. His kingdom ended up huge. And Jacob, oh my God. Twelve tribes came up out of him. Y'all better talk to us. Y'all ain't y'all ain't hearing this conversation today. You live on lunch and the word, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And this word is right. And I know it is because it's good to me. If it ain't good to nobody else, it is good to me. How long are you willing to hold on this time until he bless you? We serve a God of recompense, baby. <coughs> Ooh, shut that up. We serve the Redeemer. No matter where you are or where you think you're supposed to be, what you think you lost, what you gave up, what you're seeking, we serve a God that will give it to you. We serve a God that controls time from eternity to time. Glory to God that he will put you right in the right place at the right time. And you won't think that you lost nothing and you may have mm -hmm. lost it all back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel like shouting. Mm -hmm. <sighs> do the work that God sent you to do. Even if you have to go back to complete it. Yeah. And that's what Jacob, come on. That's what Jacob had to do. He had to go back. 
you know, and a, a lot of for for a lot of people, we get the we get the we don't recognize it, but we get the good we get the bad first before we get the good stuff. Ugh. A lot of people don't understand, and and you know, I, I've heard it say, how can you truly appreciate the good if you've never really been through anything bad? How can you really appreciate what's coming in front of you until you've really gone through something bad? Glory to God. Mm -hmm. There are people who, uh, uh, fellas, fellas, I'm going to talk to the fellas a little bit, a little bit. You can appreciate a good woman because you've been with some bad ones. Ladies, you can appreciate a good man because you've been with some bad ones. I mean, we've all made bad choices, bad decisions, but in my opinion, it's, it's life teaching us lessons. Is, is you call it bad decisions, but I consider it lessons in life mm -hmm. that help us get from one place to the next. Because I tell you what, right now, if some of y'all got the good man in the beginning, mm -hmm. you may not have had what it takes to maintain the good man. If some of us got the good woman in the beginning, mm -hmm. we might not have had what it took to maintain the good woman. Because we have to go through our own process and live and learn and go through and grow. Laban, uh, uh, Jacob had to serve for 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 for, uh, for 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 Leah, amen, glory to God, and serve for Rachel, but that must have made him love Rachel so much that he had to go through so much for Aww. her. I have learned that anything that you just get for free, you kind of just deal with it anyhow. This is just mm. human nature. But anything that you work for, mm. man, you hold on to that thing for life. You, you cherish that thing, you cover it, you work with it, you do all kind of stuff to make sure you take it, you, you repair it, you do all kind mm. of stuff, glory to God, because you work for that thing. You accomplished this. You mm. put, you up, God gave it to you and you mm. went through for this, glory to God. The mm. problem is we got people who just want free stuff and, the, and when you get the free stuff, glory to God, you don't treat the free stuff right. When God bless you with the thing, you don't treat it right. Glory to God. But if you were to work and labor for it, glory to God, you treat it differently. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We have to be able to, to deal with it, deal with things for the way it's supposed to be. So some of us get to Isaac before we get to Ishmael. The Ishmael before we get to Isaac. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Some of us get to bad before we get to good. Some of us go into captivity before we get free. Glory to God. Because we were all born in sin and shaping in iniquity. So we are born in captivity. So when we become free, glory to God. We got to learn how to be free. We got to learn, glory to God, how to walk in truth, how to walk in love, what real love is. Because I tell you, I tell you what, let's be honest. Some of us haven't really accepted God's love. The fact that he died for us on the cross when we wasn't thinking about him. How, come on, how many people still get that, that? That messes anybody up because he let us know, look, I don't care what you do. I'm still going to be with you. I'm still going to love you. I'm still going to take care of you. Glory to God. He shows us that every day Day. Glory to God. And what do we do? God, I don't deserve this love. We got to understand, sometimes we get the bad first, and now that we're getting the truth and we're getting the real stuff, we still treating the real stuff, we, we treating the true stuff like we treating the bad stuff. There has to be a change of mind. Once you wreck, and, and, and the thing is, people know, oh, you real. People say, oh, you real. Oh, you good. Oh, you, you true. You for real. You real, real. Uh, and they'll tell you, oh, I've been with some bad folk and I, and, I, and I know what I did with them. But you're real. You're real. So if you say I'm real and you know that I'm real, your discernment tells me tells me that you're tells you that you're real. Why are you treating me like you treat others? Why are you treating the, the real people like you're treating others? You can't do that. There has to be a shift. There has to be a mindset change. Glory to God. And you thinking you're doing good, but you're hurting the person that you love and don't recognize it. Fellas, we do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Or oh, the person that love you. That's right. You 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 hurting them, glory. You say, oh, you, oh, we love them. We love this. We love you. You love them, but you don't realize that you're hurting her by the things that you're doing because you won't change your mindset. Ain't nobody going to hurt me like that again. Mm -hmm. And women are good with that. Ain't, ain't no man going to talk to me like that. Ain't no woman going to do this to me no more. Glory to God. And then you get into a relationship with somebody that you know is real and you know, but oh, I'm not going to let her get too close. I'm not going to let. We do the same thing to God and the people that God has sent to us to help us. Where are we going to change? When are we going to change? And recognize that in order for us to hold on, mm -hmm. in order for us to get this blessing, this other blessing that you're talking about, mm -hmm. in order for us to get, in, in order for him to bless us again, mm. In order for us to receive this new thing, or matter of fact, it's not even new. In order for us to receive what he originally promised, that's what that's what the thing. In order for for Jacob to receive what Laban originally promised, he said, "I got to work again. You got to work again." Mm. 
Mm. In order for me to receive this, Ooh, I got to work God, again. God, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. That means what you've been doing God, back then, you got to do it now. Say, I got to continue to work. I, 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 didn't, again. I got to continue to work. You, you, amen. 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 Glory Ooh. to God. And, and I, and I, and I got to have a positive Ooh. attitude. I got to come with the right mentality. Yes. Glory to God. I got to do this. Glory to God. Ooh. Hallelujah. But there's something different about you in this new place. In, in this new place, you no, here's the thing. In this new place, you're not going to allow anybody to treat you like that no more. Glory to God. But in this new place, don't get it twisted. Glory to God. You got to allow this person to be this person because they're coming at you not to treat you bad. They're coming at you to treat you right. Glory to God. To show you that where you've been has been broken. Where you've been has been messed up. Yes, it has been. But in order for me to let you go forward, glory to God. Because see, this, this seven years, you're not dealing with Laban. Ooh. Ah! This season or this term of ministry Ooh. and going through, you're not dealing with labor no more. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're, you're not dealing with that. You're, you're dealing, this time you're dealing with the angel. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Let's fast forward. You're dealing with the angel this time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what are you going to do? How are you going to serve? How are you going to hold on? Glory to God. Jacob knew in order to change, I had to hold on with my dear life. I got to make sure that what's passing through don't pass through without blessing me. And he said, I'm going to participate in this event and I'm going to make sure that what's coming my way does not leave without blessing my soul. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So now we get Woo! to this place. Glory to God. Yeah, no, 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 and he's stop. holding on. Glory to God. Mm. Now what are you holding on for? Glory to God. It's not going to come so easy. Glory to God. You got to be in the field. Glory to God. Mm. You got to serve. You got to love. You got to give the way you know how to give. Because let me tell you something. In that time with Laban, glory to God, there were certain things about yourself that you learned. You learn how much you can give. You learn how much you can take. You learn how much you don't want to oh. give and how much you don't want to take. You learn how much you would choose to do and how much you choose not to do. You've learned all of that and you have tailored yourself in that time with Laban. Glory to God. So now you come out. Glory to God. And you want to be funny about yourself when you're not even being true to yourself. So now you go home in your closet. Glory to God. And you say, God, forgive me. I'm not even doing right by myself. The problem is we got Christians broken Christians not even doing right by themselves and they expect God to change them and that's not going to work. You're going to be true to yourself and you're going to be true to God and when you're true to both areas then change happens. It's not going to happen any other way. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a runner and I've been running around the church. Oh God. I don't know about Chuck. Ooh, shut up. Hey, Chuck. Woo! Did y'all catch that, though? Did you catch it? You're not even good or right to yourself. Did you catch that? It got to start within. It has to, ooh. It don't get mad at Layman. Layman was sent there for a reason. You were sent there to him for a reason. Not to, to, to learn how to trick, but to become the real you. You were sent there for a reason. Just because they wasn't right, you weren't supposed to pick up their mess. Amen. You were supposed to learn how to serve. Hallelujah. When are you going to learn when you get to a place that you done worked all that you can work, that it's time for you to go forward? Oh. So that you can be who you've been called to be. And this is taking me back. Who, you know, I've heard so many preachers preach against this. Ishmael wasn't bad. Who, why did he keep preaching that? Ishmael was not bad. Mm -hmm. It was nothing wrong with Ishmael. He just wasn't the promise. He wasn't the promise. That's because of Sarah's mess. Come on. But they preach against Ishmael. Let me tell you something. Even though he wasn't a promise, baby, he got just as much as the promise did. Ah, yeah, He was still blessed, even though he, his end result, with all that mess, people talked about him. Hmm. Can I ask a question? Talk, yeah. No, finish, finish, finish. I'm sorry. Talked against him, and that stuff attached on to him, and yes, he ended up angry later on in life because of what folks spoke against him. Stop allowing people to speak against what God... Mm. You have messed up along the way. I wrote a testimony about me and my son yesterday. 
You may have messed up along the way, but don't allow the devil or anybody else to speak against what you have given birth to. Hot your boat shake here. Under the bot shop. Under the, oh my God. Stop allowing people to talk against your marriage. Stop allowing people to talk against your children. Stop allowing people to speak against your life. Glory to God. God, God, God is a turnaround, God. What the enemy meant for bad, God turning it around for your good. Uh. Ooh, shady. Ooh, I just seen rain. Huh? I just seen rain. Wait, 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 wait. Stop here. Itch me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, 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 Isaac, uh, 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 Jacob. I mean, it wasn't nothing wrong with Esau. It wasn't nothing wrong with Esau. Esau was protecting his stuff. Even though he sold his birthright, he still had a right to protect it. He was angry, but he didn't go looking for Jacob. Somebody, anybody there? Because he knew. He still got his. But Jacob had to go back. And some of y'all go had to go back. To finish the work, to complete the work. Huh, y'all? So God can complete that work that He started in you. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all, y'all ain't hearing us today. We missed y'all. Oh, yes, we did. Hallelujah. We're gonna go forward just as hard. Hallelujah for 218, baby. This is a new year for each of you to ask the question, possibly. <laughs> is it Woo. how many of you got an Ishmael because of Sarah? How many of you got an Ishmael because of Sarah? Now, understand this. Sarah, I'm, I'm not against Sarah. I'm just saying Sarah tried to help God. Now, how many of you tried to help God and got an Ishmael? <laughs> and then and then you mad. You This cat right here. Uh-uh. I ain't going to stay here. Uh-uh. I'm not going to take this. Uh-uh. I got to... I'm running. <laughs> Ooh, some of y'all may be at work. Y'all better run. Woo! Come on. <laughs> Why you so messy? Woo, boy, you just slap folks all upside the head and me. How you go? <laughs> Come on, baby, hit this. Man, that was good. Can't take it. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. How many? How many? How many? Glory to God. Because uh, how many got an I Ishmael because of Sarah? How many of you try to help God? Glory to God. And then when it didn't turn out the way you think it was supposed to turn out, now you're upset. Amen. Now, now he's labeled as bad because he's not the promise. But this, but this, but this came about because of <laughs> your desire to help God fulfill His promise. But then you mad at God because it didn't turn out. But God, you said, but that's not the promise. See, God is always, God has always been specific about what He says. There has never been a time when God say, "I'm not sure how I'm going to do this thing." There had never been a time. He says, "Well, I'm not sure if Sarah is going to be the one to bring you the baby." He didn't say that. I think it's your, I think it's your handmaiden. I don't think it's Sarah. He didn't say okay? that. Okay? He never said that. He said, your wife, Sarah, right? He said, you and her will have... I mean, even, even to the point that Sarah laughed. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. <laughs> because she knew... Uh, now, listen. She knew... And listen, and some of us know, glory to... Some of us may hear the word of the Lord and what? go, and go, God, I know you ain't talking to me. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Uh, I ain't even got no money. <laughs> you gonna give me what, car? <laughs> You gonna give me what? He's short. Glory to God. He, that's my husband. He's short. He don't even. He 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 got a bald head. He, he, he don't. He don't. He don't, I want a Boaz. I don't want a Moses. I, I, he's stunning. Glory to God. What what I want that for? <laughs> <laughs> how how much? <laughs> Y'all need to share this. So, Cause this thing gonna set some folks free today. So y'all share this video. Come on. So what share you, it. Oh, put it on your page. Oh my God! It's time to go. Shine.
It's good. So so what you do Ooh. is you bring somebody that you think it should be, and you present it to God and go, here, this, is this your promise? And then you get married because it look right, sound right to you in your flesh. <laughs> but God's saying that's not the promise. That was never the promise. But wait, on the flip side of the thing, Come on. you know, God will change. Yes, he will. He will flip it up and he will change if the other ones are not lining up. If they don't up. accept, come on, right? If right. the other ones don't line up, God will. He he always got a ram in the bush. Doesn't do it. He always have a ram. Let me say that. What, what's that? Ah, not the bush. He always got a ram in the bush. Because that one won't line up. Don't, don't think that he won't have another one waiting. Even if they did line up and some stuff was still shady, wrong, wrong with them, God will still have that ram in the bush to step forward. Hallelujah, Jesus. See, people, people, you just didn't mess me up. <laughs> did he mess y'all up, y'all? Y'all share this video because this thing is good. It, 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 you know, it is so good. And it's so crazy because Jacob, you know, he, he, he was a part of the promise. It was his mama all jacked up. That was his daddy too. Come on. And so when he, oh God, his daddy don't, your father, our father don't disinherit you. You have an inheritance. Why? Because you're legacy worthy. Amen. When we learn who we are and who our father is, I'm not talking about your natural parents. I'm talking about the father above, the one that created everything, good and bad. The one that the blood flows through you. The one that sent his first begotten son that laid up on the cross, died and rose on the third day. He rose him up on the third day so that you can have power and authority. The one, hallelujah, that ascended and descended, took the keys, came back and distributed them. That, I, I'm talking. So, we got to get out of our fleshly mentality, our carnal mentality. Because nothing spiritual is going to work for you. Because one, you don't even understand it. So when Jacob got what he needed for becoming a servant, for being a servant, amen, he went to Penal. Mm. He named it Penal. Mm. And he laid there. And he held on. He held on to God. <laughs> he held on to God. So. How many are willing to hold on this time until he bless you again? Yeah, again. How many are willing? This is 2018. Many of us should have never seen it if the devil would have had his way. Mm -hmm. But God. <laughs> and now that God became a servant to us, to serve us, to bring us forth into this time, how many are willing? And he's saying, not by power, mm. nor by might. But by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. How many are willing to walk this walk like God said it? Not because you said it. Not because a motivational speaker didn't put it in you. Not because of someone boasting and bragging. Hallelujah. Lying, cheating, and stealing. But how many? Because Jacob had to get to this place. Ooh, yeah, that Abasha. He had to work, wait years to get to this place. And if you research and look at anybody's life, 
from T.D. Jakes to all of them, you will see that they had 25, 30 years of ministry. It don't come overnight, baby. I don't care what they make it look like. Amen. If you're going to be anointed, hallelujah, you have to be called and chosen, but you have to accept the chosen call. Amen. Ooh, I'm holding on. Mm -hmm. Except the chosen God. You've been live with us, y'all. <laughs> on lunch and the word. You you got some more? Yeah, you know, bust us all upside the head. Share the video. Talk to some people about it. Amen. Y'all, y'all that was here. Talk to some people about it. Share the word. Amen. So I've been so closed mouth. Come on, it's time to go forward. This is a new year. This is a new day. There's a grace and mercy. Come on. It's time, it's time to open up and be kingdom-minded people, helping one to another. Come on. It's time to work. Glory to God, because it's too much happening. Hallelujah, that we, we have the authority to control. Like he told the man at the uh, pool of Bethesda. Ah. Uh, are you willing to walk? Do you want to? He asked him a question. And the man came back with a question. Will you be made whole? And the man come back with some mess. It's time out for being messy, y'all. It's time to be real. I'm not mad at you because God got you going up. Honey, I'm celebrating with you. And if you can't celebrate with us and being all messy and selfish and hateful, keep it moving. And that's what y'all need to start telling people. Because you don't need hateful leeches, hateful people walking with you. Amen. That's where her comes from. You know, we got to see people for who they are. And you know, the old saying is long handle spoon. Baby, you better start doing this walk the way God tell you to do it. He'll show you who is who. He don't hold nothing back. He'll tell you who's good. He'll tell you who's bad. He'll even, he'll even tell you to hook up with them anyhow. I know. Because there's something to learn from it. So I, I, I beseech you. We do. Right now in the name of Jesus to say, Father, I forgive them. Come on. It's time to forgive some folks. Mm -hmm. It's time for, to forgive the church folk. It's time to forgive pastor, apostle, preacher, teacher. It's time to forgive Lulu. It's time to forgive them and, and, and so you could go forward. It's time to forgive yourself. It's time. It's time to forgive because Richard didn't act right or, or Sally didn't act right. It's time to forgive them. It's time to forgive your mother. Ooh, shut up. It's time to forgive your father. I got a testimony, man. I... <laughs> And I'm going to share that on Facebook. God sent me on a trip. And it's so powerful. So much has happened in the past few weeks. Many people are seeking, looking, missing something, and God want to give it to you. Today. I just, I, you know, I see God... <laughs> Because some of y'all are forgiving them. And I see God massaging your heart. That hard heart that you had. I, I see him literally in the spirit massaging that heart. So that it could pump again. You know, all those hard black places that you had against so and so. You know, that, that they did to you and you held on to it. All that stuff that was bringing forth sickness and disease. We didn't know no better. And God is a double shot. He's massaging that heart so that the blood could flow freely. That you can live your, ooh, sheha. That you can live your life to the full expectancy. That you don't have to huh, mourn any further. That he can give you beautiful ashes. Mm. And the joy that you've been looking for. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now, Lord God, for this time to be with our family. We thank you, Father, for everyone and uh, that's here right now live and those that will view this later. 
And we thank you, God, for those that are having a walking in it with a forgiving heart, God. We bind up the enemy for any torment that they've been doing at night. We command it to cease right now in the name of Jesus. Father, you, you have a son, and that name is Jesus. His name is Jesus, and he's a deliverer, a fortress, our strong tower. So I command everything in Jesus' name that has been having your people bound to loose them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. It's time for you to be set free. It's time for you to be delivered. Pride loose now in the name of Jesus. Loose them and let them go. They got work to do and they got to go forward. And with that, I cash it to the dry places and I lose love, my God. And joy, if I say, in a sound mind, Satan, the Lord rebuked you. This is the hour, my God, for the people of God to be invested in servanthood, to receive, my God, everything they need. God is a provider. He's a provider of provisions. There's ministry, my God, that needs to come forth. So I'm speaking to those of them right now in the name of Jesus. To let it come. It's time for you to push. Even though you don't even have the baby's name yet. It's time to push. Under the bullshit. Push. Under the bullshit. Stop giving it purpose. To keep it inside. Stop holding back. Because it's time to go forward. In the name of Jesus. It's time. It's time. It's time. To be free. It's time. To be delivered. It's time. To be happy. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and thank him. Because some deliverance have come forward for some on here. Deliverance have come forward. Hallelujah. That pride has been having them bound. Because they've been holding on to past hurt. Come on and tell God thank you. For those that have been set free on today. Tell God thank you. Hallelujah. And that we're grateful on today. Come on and give him a shout of praise. Right where you're at, no share. Come on and celebrate God. Because the enemy's been trying to stop you. But you're in the right place at the right time with the right folks. That will be right there with you, my God. That will walk this race, my mother. That will run the race with you, my God. You're not alone. I don't care what the devil been telling you. You need to know that you're not alone. We are here for you, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, you both say. Oh my God, my God. Oh Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Ah. Father, we seal this deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We seal it under the blood. So that they cannot come back to a clean house. It's shut. And every portal. Has been shut down right now from the enemy. There's no more advancement. Only for kingdom people. I hear you Holy Ghost. We have to advance. We have to go forward. We have to move in this. And for those of you that have been that has gave birth, God go give you the name. It's gonna happen suddenly. Stop saying that you're not worthy because you are legacy worthy. Start speaking that over your life. You are worthy. You are legacy worthy. Why? Because you have a father that's a king, and you're his child. 
Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Yeah. We're praying for the small entrepreneurs. I can't miss that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're praying for those gifts to be birthed for we're praying for those name changes huh, to be received huh, in the name of Jesus not the colonel not the admin name change the administrative name change but what God has changed your name to uh, receive it right now in the name of Jesus there are some people on here that need to cut some folks off just cut them off Stop trying to wait on God. Just cut them off. You don't owe no explanation. They're blocking you. They're, some people are walls built up against you. Just cut them off. Now my husband and I were talking. He said sometimes it's hard to cut people off. Hallelujah. Or to uh, uh, explain. Because see, sometimes folks going to call you. See, when I cut people off, they don't call me because there's no explanation needed. And they should know. If they say that they got the heart of God, they should know why they've been cut off. Just letting you know that everybody's not sent from God. Hmm. Wow. Father, we thank you mm -hmm. for all seed sores. We thank you, God. I don't care where you have sown your seed. We're not begging for money, but we, every seed that has been sown, may it be deed, hmm. may it be by word, may it be by money, may it be by joy and laughter, may it be by love. There are many seeds. Hallelujah. May you receive increase. Hmm. May you receive increase. Hmm. And God say, you shall. You shall receive increase. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't forget. We thank you. Amen. We just bind up the spirit of retaliation and backlash. Yeah, God. In Jesus' name, we cover each of each and every household under the blood. Yes, Jesus. And we thank God for your word in Jesus' name. Restore all all, all, all authority, all, all virtue in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Love you all. Amen. We'll see you again real soon. God bless you. Enjoy your day. The rest of your day. Bye.